Waves are a disturbance moving through a medium of a solid, liquid, or gas. This is an example of a longitudinal wave with a slinky. Now transverse waves. As you can see, it gets to the end of the slinky, it reflects back. When a wave hits something more dense than it, it reflects. A wave vibrating at right angles to its propagation, or a wave vibrating up and down with crests. This type of wave makes up light waves. Frequency is represented by 1 over t, period, and is the rate that a vibration occurs. A wavelength is the distance between successive crests or its original point. Simple harmonic motion is an oscillating wave. When it occurs in an open or closed pipe, it creates a resonance. At a constant oscillation, a standing wave is formed. The areas where the wave is stationary are called nodes, and the spaces with constant movement are called antinodes. There are multiple harmonic motions the first, second, third, and fourth, etc. There are equations to find the wavelength for each resonance. Amplitude is the height and depth of maximum and minimum. The following are equations to define these values. Now on to some practice problems. So the first thing we're going to have to do is find the change in L, and the change in L is 0.35 meters so minus 0.25 meters, and the difference comes out to be 0.1 meter. The L is going to be defined as 1 half lambda, because as you move up each consecutive harmonic, the wavelength increases by 1 half. So you're going to multiply 1 half lambda by 2 to get lambda by itself. And so lambda equals 0.2 meters. You're going to pl plug that answer into the equation of velocity equals lambda times frequency. You already have the values for velocity and lambda, so you plug those in. And 0.2 divided by 340 comes out to 1700 which is the answer.
In order to find the frequency, we first need to find the period. And it takes 0.4 seconds to get from the oscillator to the wall and back again. So the time it takes to get from the oscillator to the wall is just 0.2 seconds. And there are two wavelengths in that one length, to, so to find the period for that one wavelength is divided by 0.2 divided by 2, which is 0.1. And to find the frequency, it is 1 divided by the period. So 1 divided by 0.1 equals 10 hertz. And for part B, we need to find the wavelength. And since the length of the string is 1 meter, and there are two wavelengths in that length, uh, 1 divided by 2 is 0.5 meters as the wavelength. And you plug that value into velocity equals lambda times frequency. And lambda, which is 0.5 times 10 hertz, is equal to 5 meters per second. So for part C, we need to find the speed of the string. And there's an equation which is velocity equals the square root of tension divided by density. The tension is 4.5 newtons, and the density is 0.25 kilograms per meter. The answer from, of the velocity comes out to be 4.2 meters per second. For part D, we need to find the wavelength of this string with the given density and tension. So we could use the same equation that we have been using previously of velocity equals lambda times frequency. And if we just found velocity and we already know the frequency, so we could plug those in to find lambda. So in order to find lambda, we need to divide 4.2 by 10, which equals fork with a frequency of 400 hertz is re uh, resonating within a 0.2 meter open-ended tube at its fundamental frequency. To determine the wavelength of this wave, it, the equation is, uh, is L equals one half lambda. And L is given at 0.2 meters, so we need to multiply both sides by 2 to get lambda by itself, and lambda, lambda comes out to be 0.4 meters. For part B, we need to find the speed of inside this pipe, so we have lambda, and we know, shoot, so we just do it at home? Yeah. <laughs> 